This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is in the geomorphology playlist, in particular is looking at sedimentary structures, and we're looking at today the aeolian erosion and transportation in detail, sand dunes and ripples in the sand, how they form the processes and different ways that sand can be transported across the Earth's surface and deposited to form these amazing structures on beaches and coastlines around the world. So this video is a close-up of a sand dune in the Outer Banks, and I'm looking at the movement of the sand with the wind, how the wind is moving and transporting this sediment, and how it flows across the surface of the earth, across this sandy environment, and we're looking at the different ways that this sediment can move and form these amazing ripples and these amazing features on the surface. So there are three principal ways or aeolian transportation methods or ways in which the sand is moved, which is sediment. Now that is saltation, that is creep, and that is suspension. So creep is basically the sand particles being moved across the ground, kind of against friction and against some sort of resistance, but being moved, pushed along the surface of the earth. Saltation is bouncing, so it's lifted up, and bouncing and the last one is suspension which is the wind is wind carries the sediment in or above the surface and it flows over the ground in the air as per the wind based on wind velocity and wind direction now all three of these transportation types are based on deflation deflation is the process of wind picking up loose material off the surface of the earth and moving it so loose material, in this case sand, moving it from place to place, A to B, and those three ways of movement, creep, suspension, and saltation, are all a result of deflation. So as you can see, the sand is being moved by the wind. Now the formations or patterns that are, for, are created on the Earth's surface, in this case the sandy environment, are called bed forms. Now we can also link that to structures or patterns in water, based on rocks, but in this case it's sand. So you see the wind moving the sand from creep, saltation, and suspension. And it forms these long or straight line ripples through the sand stopping or being deposited, and there's an inter interaction or interruption with the ground, with friction, and the sediment particles going to, or sand particles going to stop and build up causing this kind of like rise and then sink of the surface causing these ripples. Now ripples come in different sizes. The smaller ones are called ripple marks. They are below or less than five centimeters in height. And if they grow above five centimeters, they're called mega ripples, five, 10 centimeters. Anything above 10 centimeters is called a dune, which we know as a sand dune. Now the largest dune is in Argentina, and that is 1,234 meters above sea level. So that the dune can go from 10 centimeters, big, tiny, up to thousands of meters, which is, is or thousands of feet, which is insane. So in this video, I'm demonstrating how when you drop the sand, the wind on this day was pretty brisk and strong in times, can pick up the sediment and transport it in suspension. Can also allow the sand to drop down and be deposited on the ground, causing creep as it moves across the surface and also saltation as it bounces. So again, this loose material, which is called deflation, the picking up of loose material by the wind is showing you that the sand dunes are being moved and created based on friction and deposition. And also the sand dunes in the background are the little dunes or or actually ripples, marks, and mega ripples are different shape based on the speed of the wind and direction. 